G'day YouTube, this is just a quick overview or review of latest release uh, Linux Mint 18.2, the Mate edition, so the Mate desktop edition. Now starting off, uh, as we can see it here, we've got Linux Mint 18.2, that's great to see. And in particular, this version separated from the others through its uh, desktop version of GNOME Mate. Now this is a slightly more lightweight derivative of, uh, of the, the previous GNOME Classic that was around a few years ago as the default for most Linux uh, distributions, but as you can see it's, uh, it's fairly lightweight, it's using about half uh, a gig of RAM there and not too much on the CPU which is really nice. Uh, moving on, we'll have a look at the, the window manager as we can see here. Now it's a fairly lightweight uh, manager, window manager called Kager 1.18.3 18 and uh, it, it seems to fairly do much of, uh, of what it's meant to do there, opening up things, copying files, etc, etc. It's got a very uh, Ubuntu-esque uh, Unity look to it as well, which is nice to see, considering it's fairly lightweight. Uh, moving on, let's see what kernel there is for the Linux Mint 18.2, which will be the same for all Linux Mint 18.2s, but uh, pop it in anyway, and we will see that we have uh, the 4.8 kernel, which is uh, not the latest and greatest, but uh, something that Linux Mint is known for doing, which is uh, sort of uh, staving off the, the latest release, just so uh, for stability purposes. But there is an option in the uh, in the actual update menu screen there to, uh, to actually push forward the latest kernel if you really wanted to. Probably uh, something I don't recommend for Linux Mint though. Uh, so yeah, all in all, just a fairly good solid lightweight release. Uh, it's got a bit of a HUD display. You can find whatever you're looking for there, which is good. It's uh, with uh, Mate in particular, it's got its own sort of versions of apps there, but it's something that I don't too much get into because if you really wanted a Linux app of any description, just go into the terminal and install it there. So uh, something, um, of course, yeah, it's just not worth getting into really for review. And uh, yes, that's uh, that would be pretty much it. It comes in 32 and 64-bit distributions. It's uh, it's great uh, for for an older desktop or laptop, uh, as you may guess. Um, something I would probably suggest for a, a really lightweight machine might be the XFCE uh, desktop environment that I've just done a quick. Uh, happy little review on just a moment ago as well but um, yeah just all in all a great little uh, environment uh, that is the uh, Linux Mint 18.2 the uh, no mate edition cheers guys uh, thanks for your time and hope you've enjoyed